Tonight, a new lawsuit accuses the Carteret County School Board of adopting an illegal calendar for the 2024-25 school year. And this suit was filed jointly by several business owners and individuals who say they want to hold the school board accountable for possible financial losses. This 18-page lawsuit filed last Friday points to the Carteret County School Board for making a vote about a school calendar that's illegal by state law. This lawsuit reveals that the Carter County School Board wanted to start school two weeks before they were supposed to. Mike McKay presented this new alternative calendar at the school board's request. I mean, does anybody have any more questions? Because I'd like to make a motion to pass the alternative calendar. I'll second that motion. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Hey, thank you, Mr. McKay. You did a great job, as always, with the calendar. According to North Carolina state law, Public schools can't start before the Monday closest to August 26th. In an official statement, Superintendent Richard Paler says he and the school board wanted classes to begin on August 13th, the same day Carteret County Community College starts. They thought starting early would help students taking college classes at the same time, but that's against the law. The school authorities knew it was wrong when we asked them. Additionally, they believe the alternative calendar addresses concerns about advanced placement students losing instructional days due to testing. Watch this clip of that school board meeting on December 5th, where the legal calendar was presented first, but board members requested the alternative calendar. With this calendar that you guys have requested, um, they would be able to start on pace first day, starting on pace in August, and then starting on the first day on pace in January with those kids. So this second calendar is a much better option for students. You ask my opinion as a parent, I have to follow the law, but if you ask my opinion as a parent, yes, sir. Parents, along with businesses like Marsh's Surf and Sea, Atlantic Beach Surf and Shop, and the Sanitary Fish Market and Restaurant, noticed the red flag and are now taking the school board, specifically Catherine Chadwick, the chair of the board, and the other six board members to court. They argue that the alternative calendar will cause them to lose revenue. Superintendent Paler says in his statement that he fully plans to defend this alternative calendar in court. And you can read that full court case on our website at WCTI12.com. In Carteret County, Bilyana Garland, News 12.